Good afternoon, I'm Johanna Miller, Energy and Climate Program Director at the Vermont Natural Resources Council, and we are here with our first Climate Dispatch of the 2023 legislative session. We are excited to be joined by Senator Chris Bray, who has been the long and ongoing uh, chair of the Senate Natural Resources and Energy Committee. We are here today at the end of the first week of this exciting biennium. Um, there is a lot of energy, there is a whole new slate of climate um, leaders coming into the body um, who seem very eager to do what we need to do when it comes to meeting our carbon pollution reduction requirements and doing what we need to do to create a habitable and livable community for young people and future generations. So it's really exciting. Yesterday was the first Climate Solutions Caucus. There was huge turnout. There's so much energy and I think really important momentum for what we need to do. And we're excited to be here today with Senator Bray because he has exciting news to announce that the Affordable Heat Act, Cleaner Heat 2.0, um, is being introduced today, S5. Five. Senator Bray, tell us a little bit about the bill and what you hope it will accomplish for, for Vermonters. Great. Um, thanks, Joey, and good to be here with you, Lauren, as well. So it is great that, you know, sometimes we say something's exciting, and this one really is. So S5, first day for the Affordable Heat Act is being introduced on the floor in about 10 minutes. Um, and the, the important thing about this bill is it's going to create a pathway for Vermonters to a more affordable, cleaner heat for decades to come. We have, everyone's very aware that we have a global climate change, uh, a global climate challenge, and we need to meet the requirements of the law. That's legally binding we have to, as government, come forward with a workable solution. And the Affordable Heat Act uh, is just that. Um, it offers a chance to reduce emissions, save money at home, roughly an estimated $2 billion in heating costs between now and 2030. Uh, that's about $7,500 a home. Uh, and that's a big help in a time where we are facing record high heating costs. So uh, I look forward to the work with everyone to develop this bill in a, in a way that is affordable for Vermonters and lets them uh, meet the requirements that we already have in law. Thank you so much, Senator. And um, on Monday, January 9th, coming right up, we're gonna be doing a webinar where we will be going into more detail. So those of you who really wanna walk out on what is in this policy and what um, is new and improved about uh, the Affordable Heat Act, please join us. We'll put a link for how you can register for that for noon on Monday. Um, and, you know, we always like to uh, also share a little update on the House. So over there, there was interesting news um, where they took the House Energy and Technology Committee and House Natural Resources, Fish and Wildlife Committees and kind of merged jurisdiction. So we have a new Environment and Energy Committee that will be working on clean energy, uh, land use, kind of climate resilience and climate mitigation, uh, you know, clean water and all of that. So it's going to be a big, a big body of work there and some uh, interesting changes on that side. And we'll come back with some house members to update you more on that soon. Um, but we always, is there something else you would like to? Yeah, well, I just want to say to the, the VNRC audience, you know, we, this is going to, the Affordable Heat Act is going to be a major piece of work, a big lift. And we're going to need the help of everyone out there to help focus on the real benefits that this program is going to deliver. I anticipate there will be pushback on this bill, not based on good analysis, but based on sort of fearful, um, really sort of paralyzing, um, paralyzing ways of describing change. You know, there's an opportunity you know, to make real positive improvements. And we're going to need a lot of voices to help carry it out forward. Yes, here, here. So uh, that's a great way to end. Um, we know that the, uh, the climate dispatch audience are engaged and uh, that we're going to need all of your voices throughout this process. Tons of work to do, um, at, you know, as we're just going to go in with the 2023 legislature. So stay tuned on specific ways to get involved, make your voice heard. Uh, and weigh in with the, the new committee members and new legislators. Um, so we'll be back with you next week for an update. And in the meantime, hope to see you Monday on our webinar. And hope you have a great weekend. And thank you again, Senator. My pleasure. Senator Bray. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. Look forward to the work ahead. Thanks, everyone. Have a good weekend. Thanks.